Julie Blake Homo is here, our etiquette expert. How are you? I'm well. How are you, Kurt? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> quiz time! <laughs> We're actually going to do an etiquette quiz? Yes, we are. All right. All right. Shall we get started? Absolutely. Okay. I'm ready. In what country would you toast with Nosdarovia? Nosdarovia! This uh, little shot glass here? Uh -huh. Well, given the selection of countries that I have to choose from, I would take the obvious answer, and that would be Russia. Ding, ding, ding. Hooray! And I got one right. That would be the drink of choice, the toast of choice, during a business meeting, and you would never refuse it. Right. Never. Nosdarov. So, Nosdarovia. Number right. two. Yes. In what country is it illegal to have to chew gum? You need a prescription. What? You need a prescription to have gum in that country. Uh. And the reason they decided to make it illegal is that people would dispose of it in all kinds of odd places, you were saying not there, unlike here. There are some other airports around the world now that are adopting that, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, you know, used to be we couldn't, we could smoke, and in springtime you went outside, there were cigarette butts. Now there's gum everywhere, so maybe we should yeah. think about that one. I have it on good authority that Singapore could be the answer. You are right again. Look two at me for go. two. Look at two me go. for two. In what country yes. is it polite? to slurp your noodles. These noodles right here. The noodles. Slurping of the noodles. And I, I think it's China. You think it's China? That or, would be... Uh, that would be it's Japan. Aha, yay. And the reason is, is that when you're slurping the noodles, it's like when you're having your wine, you know how people swirl it in their mouths yeah, so that the air would come that. through the nasal passages? Right. Same reason. Also, just very quickly, Kurt, if you take your chopstick, yes. let's say you this was communal, like it was in the middle of the table right, for which all is of possibility, us. Right. Possibility, or yeah. you had sushi in the middle. Yes. How would you go, and you only have chopsticks, how would you go to get some rice or noodles to put on your plate, your personal serving? Quickly. Yeah. How would you <laughs> very quickly? I don't know. What would you well, do? Well, what you want to do is that, aha, you want it change the side of your chopsticks oh. so it's the end that would not go into your mouth oh. that you would take to retrieve yeah sushi rice noodles and put on your plate son of a gun it's a little tip this morning oh. in what country are the men the people that practice the tea ritual the tea ritual is practiced by men in that country my lord not by women, by no. men. The tea ritual. What uh -huh. do you mean by ritual? Well, they are the ones that will prepare the tea, that will serve the tea. I'm, I, I'm guessing Morocco. You are right. So three for four, I think. Very, very good. In what, <laughs> in what country would the time between five and seven, between five and seven here we have happy hour? Yes. Would it be an intimate rendezvous? So if I said to you, Kurt, why don't we meet between five and seven? And you would think, aha. Uh -huh. Is that what the French do? That is what the French do, between five and seven. So never say, let's meet between five and seven. Well, unless you right. had some intimate intentions. Oh, really? <laughs> unless. Uh, I'll meet you at 5.30. Uh-oh. Okay, uh -oh. gotcha. In what country would, you know, that finger gesture be an insult. Here, okay. Yeah, we go to the chef and we say, great Top chef, notch. delicioso. In what country would it be an insult to the chef? Hmm. In what country would it be an insult? I don't, I, I'm guessing. It represents, according to the, the culture of that country, uh -huh. uh, anatomy part. Oh, does it? Uh-huh. So you would want to avoid that. <laughs> In the Mediterranean. Oh, no, really? So it's Spain? It is Spain. Is that right? I had no idea. Yes. Yeah, so you wouldn't go to the chef and say, mm-hmm, delicious. Okay. In what country you had a delicious meal, would tipping not be accepted? expected? Oh, China. Mm -hmm. That's wrong? That's wrong. Where? In Australia. Really? Yeah. So. Tipping is not the norm in Australia. What? Yeah. But if you wanted to really show your appreciation, you could give something at about 10%, but it's not expected. Even right. when you go get your hair cut, not expected in Australia. 
Okay, we got a couple more questions for this segment. Let's okay. go. In what country <laughs> <laughs> does it very graceful, actually, a sign of gratitude to burp? Burping Germany. would be. Eh. China? Eh. Canada? Yes. Since when? Yes, with the Inuit. Oh. With the Inuit. Burping that. is, that, and that is a true. sign I, of gratitude. I do, know that. I do know that. And what country would you leave food on your plate? And you have two left. China, yeah. China, yes, from the peanut gallery, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. China Thanks, is appropriate. Steve. If you ate everything, that would be saying like, you know, I would like more, so your host would be pretty right. insulted. And what was the German question? In Germany, you will not be served water when you sit down at the table. Hopefully you get beer. <laughs> Hopefully you get beer. <laughs> water is not free. <laughs> We got another segment coming up. What are we going to talk about? Wedding etiquette. Wedding etiquette. I got a couple of weddings to go to. Well, at least I hope we get a party.